What's keeping young college women from pursuing majors in the sciences? Clemson University researchers Jeffrey Potvin and Zara Hazari believe they know why, and what they say may surprise you. What we looked at is how high school students rate their high school science teachers, and we specifically looked at biology, chemistry, and physics, so the three science, major science disciplines different, uh, separately. And what we found was is that uh, the student evaluations had a gender bias where female teachers in all of the sciences were underrated by their uh, male students whereas uh, the female students only underrated their female teachers in physics. So we were finding um, a field specific disparity for, for females and across all of the sciences there was a disparity for, for uh, the way the male students were rating their teachers. They used to think that it's because girls didn't do as well as boys on tests. And that's just not true anymore. Boys and girls do pretty much equivalently on most math and science indicators now. Um, and yet, there's still a lot, of, uh, a lot more males go into college studying physics as opposed, to, uh, as opposed to females. So the question remains, why are so few females going into physics? So the important thing for us is to understand that this bias that we're seeing, which is especially prominent in physics, um, we need to address it at the high school level um, because we think what's happening is that girls in high school classrooms, they also feel this bias. They're certainly expressing it towards their own uh, female teachers and they're also feeling it from, from their classmates and that's affecting their choices. For more information on the Gender Bias Study, contact Susan Polachuk at 864-656-2063.